Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us in WCNC 2021. Uh, my name is Asil Koç and I am a PhD student at McGill University. Uh, today, I'll present our paper named as Swarm Intelligence-Based Power Allocation in Hybrid Millimeter Wave Massive MIMO Systems. Uh, the brief outline of the presentation is given in here. Firstly, the motivation of using the particle swarm optimization technique uh, for the hybrid pre-recording um, is explained in the introduction part. Then we present the system and channel model. Afterwards, the hybrid pre-recording architecture is presented. Uh, finally, the illustrative results are provided to uh, uh, express the advantages of the proposed PSOPA algorithm, and the presentation ends with the uh, In the wireless communications, the rapidly growing traffic rates and the user demands can be fulfilled by advanced transmission techniques. And MIMO is, uh, is one of the key enabling technologies. Uh, it has been an already in an integral part of the uh, existing wireless standards, such as 5G and Wi-Fi. And a decade ago, there was a paradigm shift in the MIMO technology. Uh, by equipping accessible large antenna arrays at the base station, uh, the massive MIMO can provide higher spectral and energy efficiency. Because as shown in this figure, uh, the large antenna arrays can focus the signal energy on smaller regions via large beamforming gate. Precoding is an essential signal processing technique to ensure reliable transmission. Uh, different from the sing single stage fully digital precoding as in conventional MIMO, uh, Two-stage hybrid precoding is a promising technique for the messy MIMO systems. As shown in here, the, the hybrid precoding architecture consists of two stages, as the RF precoder and the basement precoder, which are interconnected via RF chains. In this work, we developed the RF precoder uh, based on the uh, slow time-varying channel characteristic, uh, namely the angle of departure AOD. We aim to uh, decrease the CSI overhead, the number of and the number of RF chains. Hence. Uh, the proposed hybrid architecture can reduce the hardware cost complexity, power consumption, and the CSI overhead size. Considering the limited frequency resources, millimeter wave communication also enables uh, higher data rates via larger bandwidths. The shorter wavelengths in the MM wave reduces the antenna array size, as shown here. Uh, it makes messy MIMO technology as a useful application in the millimeter wave. Uh, however, the major difficulties uh, in the millimeter wave is the limited scattering propagation and the high path loss. Uh, Messi MIMO can address these difficulties via providing high beamforming gain with large antenna arrays. It also makes hybrid precoding a good candidate for the MM wave to reduce the hardware uh, cost and complexity. Additionally, for the uh, multi-user power allocation, we consider the swarm intelligence. It is also classified as a nature-inspired uh, artificial intelligence AI algorithm. Uh, particle swarm optimization is one of the uh, examples of the swarm intelligence. PSO is based on the swarming behaviors of the animals like fish and birds. Uh, as shown in this animation, in PSO, uh, the particles or the agents are randomly distributed in the search space. Uh, then they communicate with each other to find the global optimum solution as shown in here. Uh, recently, PSO is considered for the RF precoding design in the literature. Uh, however, our motivation is to use the uh, particle swarm optimization for the multi-user power allocation. Uh, in the system model, we assume that the base station is equipped with a uh, uniform rectangular array, URA, having M antennas, as shown here. And uh, it serves K single antenna users, and the users are clustered in G different groups. According to the hybrid precoding architecture, we assume uh, the RF precoder and the baseband precoder are connected via B RF chains. Therefore, the transmitted signal vector S is composed of RF precoder F, baseband precoder B, power allocation block B, and uh, P, and the data vector D. Then the received signal at the downlink user includes the desired signal plus intragroup interference, plus intergroup interference, and plus, of course, noise. Uh, by defining the signal to interference plus noise ratio expression as given in here, uh, we can obtain the ergodic sum rate uh, capacity as a function of the uh, RF precoder F, baseband precoder B, and the power allocation block P. And um, in equation four, the sum rate, uh, sum rate maximization problem is given in here. It has three constraints representing the total transmit uh, power constraint PT at the base station and the constant modulus constraint at the RF precoder. And it will be explained in the following slides. Here, this problem is a a non-convex problem, and it can be solved sequentially by developing F, B, and P. 
Uh, regarding the channel model, we consider 3D geometry-based MM wave channel model. Uh, therefore, according to the URA structure given in here, the channel vector HK is, uh, de is defined uh, as in here, and it, it consists of the, uh, the path gain vector ZK and the phase response matrix phi K. And phi K is a function of the angle of departure information. And now we move to the uh, proposed hybrid precoding design with PSO-based power allocation. Uh, in the hybrid architecture, there are three blocks needs to be developed, namely F, B, and P. Uh, firstly, the RF precoder F is designed by a, by a, a slow time varying AOD parameters. Then the baseband precoder is uh, designed by using the reduced size effective uh, channel. Here, our primary goals are to reduce the CSR overhead and the number of RF chains. Then while developing the multi-user power allocation matrix P, we propose a new PSO-based power allocation technique uh, to maximize the system capacity. Uh, let's start first with the RF precoder F. As mentioned, in, uh, as mentioned earlier, the, the users are clustered in G non-overlapping groups. Uh, so we design uh, the G sub blocks for the RF stage design as shown in equation nine. Uh, then the effective channel seen from the baseband is represented by the curly H matrix. Here, off diagonal matrices represents the effective interference channel matrix among the user groups. Hence, uh, we have two important design criteria at the RF stage as maximizing the beamforming gain in the desired direction and mitigating the intergroup interface. Uh, here, I will not go in detail in math, but we first define the AOD support for each user group. Uh, then uh, uh, for the rectangular uh, array, uh, the steering vector and the corresponding orthogonal uh, angle pairs are defined. Uh, finally, the RF precoder uh, FG is designed by using the steering vectors and the quantized angle pairs covering the uh, corresponding AOD support. And an example for 3D beam representation, uh, orthogonal beam representation is given in this slide for three URA uh, structures like 5x5, 10x10, and 20x20 URA. Uh, we observe that as the URA size increases, the, or, uh, the orthogonal beams becomes uh, narrower and the side lobes get smaller. It means the larger arrays minimize the leakage, to the leakage of the interference to the undesired direction and concentrate the signal energy to the desired direction. Moreover, as the array size increases, we have more degrees of freedom in the angular domain. Um, after developing the RF precoder, we utilize the uh, reduced size effective CSI in the, in the baseband precoder design. Hence, the CSI overhead size is reduced from K times M to K times P. Uh, then uh, at the baseband precoder, we use the well-known uh, regularized zero forcing technique as shown in equation 17. Now we reach to the last block to be developed as the multi-user power allocation block. Uh, for a given uh, RF precoder F and the baseband precoder B, um, the capacity maximization problem can be written as in equation 18. However, the updated problem is still non-convex. Uh, so we propose a novel swarm optimization uh, based power allocation algorithm. Uh, it employs uh, multiple agents called as particles and search the optimum solution. Uh, first, NP particles are randomly uh, placed in the search space. And during the T, T iterations, uh, the, the particles communicate with each other uh, and moves towards the global optimum solution. In the proposed PSOPA algorithm, i particle in the T iteration represents the multi-user power allocation matrix P show, as shown in here. So the objective function with that particle is uh, given in here as the sum rate expression. However, we need to satisfy the transmit power constraints while the particles are moving. Uh, so we also define uh, a normalized multi-user power allocation matrix P hat. Its entries vary be between zero and one. And, and it satisfies the total transmit power constraint. Uh, during the iterations, the position and the velocity of the particles are updated as shown in here. Here, kappa one and kappa two are the learning parameters for the global best and the personal best. Then in each iteration, uh, uh, the particles communicate with each other to update the, uh, the global and the personal best solutions. Uh, finally, uh, after the last iteration, uh, the multi-user power allocation uh, block 
is obtained by via the proposed PSOPA algorithm as shown here. Uh, the details of the PSOPA is summarized in this slides, but I will not go in detail. After developing all three subblocks, the proposed 3D angular base with PSOPA uh, generates B orthogonal beams uh, via BRF chains as shown on the left hand side. So, compared to the fully digital precoding, uh, the number of RF chains is reduced from M to B. Uh, to further minimize the hardware cost and complexity, we utilize the transfer block design. Uh, represented on the right hand side. Um, it only requires KRF chains without sacrificing the sum rate performance. Uh, the optimization problem for the transfer block design is given in equation 23. Then the closed form solutions are obtained for the, uh, the transfer block T and reduced size baseband precoder B red as in equation 24. Uh, as a summary, the proposed hybrid architecture reduces the CSR overhead uh, size as well as the uh, hardware cost and complexity. Specifically, uh, compared to the single stage fully digital uh, precoding FTP, number of RF chains is reduced from M to K. Also, the CSR overhead size is reduced from K times M to K times B. Uh, for the illustrated results, uh, the simulation setup is given in here for the 3D microcell scenario specified in the standards. Uh, let me first highlight the, some of the important parameters. Uh, the, the base station is equipped with 256 uh, antenna elements and the cell radius is considered as 100 meters. Uh, there are three user groups and the users are equally distributed in each, in each group. Uh, first illustrated results provides a benchmark of the proposed hybrid scheme uh, with respect to fully digital pre-coding FTP and as well as two other hybrid precoding uh, schemes represented in here. Here we consider a cool power allocation uh, for uh, K equals 15 users. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, we have the sum rate results and the energy efficiency results are plotted on the right hand side. The numerical results uh, shows that the proposed scheme, proposed hybrid scheme represented with the red curve uh, provides higher sum rate and energy efficiency compared to other hybrid precoding techniques. Moreover, the energy efficiency is remarkably improved uh, uh, compared to the single stage fully digital uh, precoding represented with the uh, black curve, uh, because the number of RF chains is remarkably reduced uh, by 94, 94%. Uh, specifically, it is reduced from 256 to 15. Uh, moreover, the CSI overhead size is also reduced by 87%. Uh, now we investigate the proposed PSOPA algorithm with one, two, five, and 10 iterations. It is shown that the PSOPA remarkably improved the sum rate um, performance compared to the equal power allocation case represented with the black curve. Moreover, uh, on the right hand side, we plot the sum rate gain ratio uh, with respect to the equal power allocation. Here, uh, with 10 iterations represented with the black, uh, uh, red curve, uh, we observe 88% sum rate gain at uh, 0 dBm. In this slide, we plot the rate region curve for three user case by ordering the user rates R1 greater than R2 and it is greater than R3. Then the sum rate will be the summation of all of them as shown in here. Here, the global optimum point represented with the black star is found uh, via the uh, computational expensive exhaustive search and uh, the numerical results shows that the PSOPA with uh, 10 iterations represented with uh, uh, red circle, uh, it can close reach to the global optimum point. In other words, it achieves 99.95% of the uh, optimum performance. On the other hand, the equal power allocation can only achieve 75%. Uh, the final illustrative results analyze the PSOPA algorithm for K equals 3, 6, 9, and 12 users. It is observed that the first iteration provides the highest sum rate gain, but uh, also PSOPA converts faster for low number of users. In conclusion, a novel swarm intelligence-based power allocation uh, technique is proposed for the hybrid millimeter wave machine MIMO systems. Uh, proposed hybrid architecture is composed of three stages as uh, RF precoder, baseband precoder, and multi-user power allocation block. Uh, it provides the uh, comparable sum rate with respect to the uh, single stage FTP. 
Uh, moreover, the proposed PSOPA algorithm greatly enhanced the uh, sum rate performance. It can also uh, close the reach to the optimum uh, sum rate achieved by the computationally complex exhaustive. Here are the references. And this is end of my presentation. Thanks for joining us.